Welcome everyone, Rob here, and today we're going to be talking about the gas guzzling explosives addict, the gas soldier. We're going to talk about his powers, what his synergies are, and we'll also show gameplay examples of how to use him. This class will be all about gathering up consumables such as fuel and explosives, other grenades, and utilizing them at the right moment to dispatch your enemies and gain a tactical advantage. As always, timestamps will be in the description, so if you just want to see a specific part of this video, feel free to go down there and jump straight to it. If you enjoy this content, hit that like button, and if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button as well. Let's get started. The Gas Soldier's red powers focus on offensive capabilities. Like all other classes, the Gas Soldier will have a preferred weapon with a damage buff. For this class, it typically will be a short-range weapon such as an SMG or a shotgun, and I'll explain why later. The Advanced Molotov Power grants two Molotov cocktails and increased backpack capacity when unlocked, and then can double your throwing range for Molotov cocktails. This will allow you to safely manipulate the battlefield from a distance prior to moving up, so possibly putting your Molotov in an area where you do not want an enemy to stand because it would be a vantage point for them. It's worth noticing you will see that because this character is consumable based, almost all of his abilities which improve the use of a consumable will grant you two of that consumable as well as increased backpack weight capacity. You will see this as I go through the additional power-ups. The Chem Round ability adds an area of effect explosion to your bullets. Now, the damage of this ability is generally very low. When I look at the damage on the side, I believe it's like one damage per, so it's not a big deal. But it applies a debuff that prevents enemies from healing for 10 seconds at its final rank. This gives the Gas Soldier the ability to shoot near enemies behind cover and still damage them while blocking healing. In addition, it gives the Gas Soldier the advantage in a fight when both sides have traded damage and are injured. The Gas Soldier will be able to take cover and heal and then re-engage the fight prior to the enemy having an opportunity to heal with an emergency kit or a medical kit. If used properly, this will allow you to safely maybe trade half of your health for half of their health, heal back up to full, and then engage with a HP advantage over your enemy and try to secure that kill. The Gas Soldier's green powers will focus on his defensive capabilities. The Gas Soldier will always have a home ground, typically grass or trees, and this will grant a plus 10% damage bonus at the highest rank. The Gas Soldier is an outdoor favoring class because of his use of smoke grenades as an enhanced consumable. We'll discuss this later. But the concept be behind having grass or trees as a home ground is that he has an advantage outdoors because he can create a visual cover to protect himself. So this home ground kind of synergizes with him being outdoors. The smoke grenade enhancement that I was mentioning previously is called Toxic Smoke Grenades. Now, as with all the others, this gives you two smoke grenades immediately and backpack weight capacity. This will also permanently enhance your smoke grenades to damage enemies within. Now, it is important to note that allies are immune to this smoke damage and can still safely hide within, although obviously you want to make sure you're communicating with them so they know that it's your smoke grenade and that they can safely be inside. This ability gives the Gas Soldier an advantage in the fact that his smoke grenades can no longer be used against him by enemies. So if you use a smoke grenade, oftentimes you're creating cover for yourself, but with Gas Soldier you can use it offensively, and it will also damage your enemies and then you can then run into it. So it's not only uh, a form of providing cover for you, it's also a damaging mechanism, and it is a place where your enemies can no longer hide. The Gas Mask ability makes the Gas Soldier immune to toxic smoke from enemy Gas Soldiers, and at its highest rank it will restore 25 health when entering a smoke screen. Now, it's worth mentioning that the cooldown of this ability is 30 seconds, so realistically, you're not gonna be getting uh, multiple uses of this out of a single smoke grenade. Um, I don't really know how useful or common it is to be able to counter enemy gas soldiers. I think this is kind of a weaker, more worthless uh, power-up, but on the plus side, if you do have a smoke grenade that you were gonna use anyway, it's a free 25 HP 
uh, restoration. So at least it does that. The Gas Soldier's blue powers focus on utility and also provide the Gas Soldier with his strongest consumable boost. That boost? Drinking fuel. Yes, literally drinking fuel. Taking gasoline directly to the windpipe because why not? This guy is a super soldier whose power is that he can drink gasoline. Now, as with previous powers, when the fuel booster power is unlocked, the gas soldier will be given two fuel tanks and increased backpack capacity immediately. Upon using a fuel tank as a consumable, which in order to do this, you need to go into your inventory and actually select it. As far as I know, that's the only way you can do it. This will grant you 50 additional bonus health, which yes, operates as a shield because it gives you additional health beyond your current max. And it will give you a whopping plus 30% damage for a whole minute, a full 60 seconds. This is the power that makes an otherwise mediocre gas soldier class absolutely nuts and overpowered. If you have this power up and a fuel tank, it is an absolute must. It is imperative that you get this buff rolling before taking a fight as the offense and survivability will win you fights. This is the power up that makes the gas soldier viable. Make sure you are using it and abusing it. The Muzzle Flash Detector grants you muzzle flash detection within 150 meters at its top rank, allowing you to identify the locations of enemies who are firing. This is an extremely valuable utility tool because it will give you the option of sort of pinpointing enemies in the locations of where they are firing. It's important when you're a class who relies on long-range siege from grenades and manipulating the environment to give you advantages to actually know where your enemies are. So this is a nice little uh, feature. It's not necessarily game-breaking, but just being able to see in some of those harder-to-see environments, uh, areas where there's foliage or um, enemies that might be shooting through windows, being able to really identify their exact location and follow up with a precise grenade throw can make the difference in a successful initiation to a fight. The smokescreen power-up immediately grants you a 3% movement speed bonus and unlocks the slide ability. Now, that's cool. I personally am not a huge fan of the slide in this game. I think it's a little bit on the slower side, but regardless, still pretty cool. Uh, a tool you can use if you're going to push up very close on an enemy and try to kill them almost instantly. By rank 3, however, you will also be provided with a plus 20% movement speed boost upon entering smoke screens, further increasing your synergy with smoke bombs and allowing you to move very quickly. So for example, if you're using a smoke bomb to cover an area to allow you to move through maybe the open where it's dangerous and enemies might be shooting at you, this movement speed bonus will be very helpful. So an interesting plot twist, um, after I got this screenshot and filmed this, they took away the slide. So now it is just faster movement speed. So the slide ability no longer in the Gas Soldier's kit. The Gas Soldier's ultimate ability, Fireball, lets you pull out a powerful flamethrower that you can charge up for a second and then release a devastating wave of fire. This ability can be fired once every 50 seconds and packs a punch. It can occasionally one-shot an enemy with the damage over time effect at the end. It travels a decent distance, has a very large hitbox, and most importantly, it goes through walls, allowing you to pull off some cheeky kills, allowing you to lead with this before you engage in a fight. Uh, I did not know this when I originally did my review on the Gas Soldier class. This new piece of knowledge that I now have makes him so much better, especially when played at a high level. If you know where an enemy is hiding, camping, or otherwise taking cover, you can nail them with this ability when they think that they're safe. So if they're healing, trying to recover, you can just kill them with this ability if you generally know where they are. Leading with this and getting a hit will almost guarantee you in the fight. Uh, it's also worth mentioning that unlike bullets, this ability can continue to move forward after hitting an enemy. This means that if you're playing in duos or squads and you have multiple enemies pushing you down a narrow path, you can hit all of them and potentially wipe an entire squad with this ability. So you should be looking for some good angles, some narrow hallways or paths to send a fireball down where the enemy will not have a good place to hide and they won't really have somewhere to run 
or somewhere that they can react. If you use this in the open and they're kind of far away, they might be able to dodge it. So try to get them caught in these narrow paths and hit them with this ability. Overall, my thoughts on the Gas Soldier, he is a very unique class. He relies almost exclusively on finding and using consumables. His backpack capacity and power-up granted consumables make him strong in early, mid-game, and even somewhat late-game fights, but it's worth noting that he suffers immensely from attrition. When using this character, you need to make sure you're cashing in kills when using your consumables, especially your fuel consumable, which will make you a top-tier super soldier when active. Without it, he's average or worse, I would say. His ultimate should be used from cover if you're in a firefight in a way where you have the potential to hit your enemies without them being able to turn fire yourself. This is a mistake that most people are making. They're treating it like a gun and trying to fire it in the open. Now that we know it can go through walls, cheat. Like, shoot shoot through the walls. Don't, don't bother trying to give them an opportunity to shoot you back. Um, I don't exactly love how this class seems rather consumable dependent to be good, but the ultimate is pretty insane, and the more I use it, the more I like it, and the stronger that I think it is. So, this is a class where you're going to have to be looting a lot, and you're going to have to make sure you're always picking up consumables off of bodies. That's not always going to be possible, so I feel you need to play this guy a little bit more aggressively to ensure that you can build up those consumables and make sure that you you get value every single time that you end up using one. You don't want to use a fuel tank and then not take a fight during that 60 seconds. All in all, I think when played optimally, this class is really powerful. I'm going to show you some clips now of Gas Soldier gameplay and effective usage of some of the consumables he benefits from in the game. And there's going to be one or two clips coming up here where you're going to say to yourself, wow, this class is busted. Enjoy. Okay, in this clip, I was actually lucky enough to get multiple different um, abilities in use. One, you'll see I go into my inventory, activate my fuel. You'll notice my max HP is 150 prior, and then after using it, it jumps up to 200. This makes me incredibly, incredibly tanky. Now, I'm doing this and popping the bar because I know I'm about to run into the open to try to get to my teammate. I'm going to be taking a lot of shots, so I want that extra health to protect me as I make it to my teammate, and I assume I'm going to be taking a fight in the near future. Now, coming up, you'll see that a person is going to attack me on my right. I'm going to get some shots off. Chem rounds is going to do damage. Nail him with the ultimate. Huge damage. Down them. I am going to get pushed here and will not be able to take him out, but I almost win this fight. In this example, you'll see yet again using fuel to make sure I get that defensive and offensive capability. And here, I believe that they're inside of this building, so I'm going to try to set the stage here. Use my long-range Molotov cocktail um, grenades to set up the stage for the fight, make sure that if someone is in that green building, they are not going to be able to sneak out and jump me as I push up. So you'll see basically throwing it long range using that boost, covering the entrances and exits to prevent someone from coming out there, and just trying to move up and get a gauge on what is going on. Okay, here is where things get pretty disgusting. My teammate has died and he has calmed out where the enemy is on his body. Now, as you see, I literally shot it straight through multiple walls, hit him, and it ends up killing him. Completely just wipes him out. I get a free kill because my teammate comms his location. This is busted, super strong. Always hit people through walls if you have the ability to. Here you have a classic example of using smoke grenades. We're trying to get across the bridge, one of the worst chokeholds in the entire game, in the storm while getting shot at. So we have those grenades down providing cover. My teammates, the gas soldier, just basically clearing the way. Uh, great usage of smoke. And also enemies can't hide in here or they would take damage. So cool little way to try to prevent enemies from seeing you and shooting at you. The final thing I'm going to show you right here, this is what it looks like uh, from the perspective of someone who's having a, a Gas Soldier Ultimate shot at them. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope this was helpful. I hope that this taught you a couple things about the Gas Soldier and, and how to use him. If it did, let me know in the comments section. And as always, if you like this content, hit that like button. And if you want to see more of it, hit that subscribe button as well. We'll see you next time.